right, so this is the extreme prototype version, first 3D print of a universal rail attachment for Glock auto pistols. I'm hoping that the end result, the final design, is going to be completely open source and extensible for anyone who wants to modify or otherwise augment the design. The current version uh, only has support for a laser diode and two LEDs and also a modular battery pack and three position switch. Um, it should be noted that this is an incredibly crude prototype. In fact, uh, it was so crude that it broke because I didn't accurately judge the and measure the tolerances for the rail properly. But uh, I made a lot of progress, I think, with just a initial version. I learned quite a few things. And uh, I'm going to disassemble this in a moment so that you can see all the various components. And uh, I'll explain explain everything. Before I take it apart, though, I'd like to just quickly show how it's supposed to work. This is the uh, G29 10mm Glock auto pistol, and uh, this is the tactical rail right here for attachments. And uh, ideally, the rail attachment just slides right into this groove, and uh, you can't see it because it's on the other side, but there's a little locking pin that clips into this groove right here along the top to hold. It's securely in place. I'm probably going to change that for the final version because this really is just uh, far too crude. So that's how it's supposed to look attached to the pistol. I tried to make it as small as possible, but I think I'm going to actually have to scale it down for the final version. This assembly is fairly straightforward since there's only three parts currently. There will probably be even less when I finish the design, probably just two parts. Uh, first of all, you just take out the uh, hinge pin, which uh, will of course be refined in the final version, and then you can detach the lid easily enough. And this uses just sort of the standard hinge system that I've developed. Seems pretty reliable and good tension. Now uh, inside there's the uh, modular removable battery pack. Initially I wanted to design this uh, specifically so that people could just keep these battery packs on hand and pop them out and put in a new battery pack when needed to sort of simplify the design. But as you can see the tolerances are off on the batteries and they just fall right out. So. I'm going to have to refine the battery pack design quite a bit. They pop in nice, but they just slip right out, so that tolerance is a little bit off and needs to be adjusted. And uh, this is what the inside looks like. You can see the laser diode sticking out, and there's the LED with the additional port for another LED. I was really pleased with the tolerances for the laser diode were actually perfect. I was really happy I measured that right and the LED is alright too but uh, it's it doesn't uh, stick flush to the front here so I'm gonna tweak that tolerance a little so that it's flush. The laser's uh, pretty hard to get in there but it's it's a lot easier to get out just uh, pop it out with a pen or whatever and this is a uh, basically the un kind of universal laser diode that uh, you will find in any three dollar laser pointer and you can remove them fairly easily and since it's a universal specification uh, it'll fit right in here without any problems just like with the uh, laser the LED is easy to pop out and they're actually a lot easier to put in than the laser so this is what the actual outer casing looks like and after having had a chance to test the design a little 
I've come to the conclusion that a, an enclosed case like this is actually a really bad design. So what I'm going to do is completely change the orientation of the hinge system. Instead of having it uh, on the, the, the end, I'm going to put it on the side and have the entire side come off because that will allow this rail system to be a lot more usable and will potentially reduce the number of parts because this is the last component here that I hadn't shown you until now because it actually turned out to cause a lot of problems in the design and I really wish I'd come up with a better method. Uh, so initially the idea was to have the uh, the attachment slide over the rail and then this little uh, this little um, locking mechanism here pops into the groove on the end of the the Glock and it actually works but to actually get it in here and for it to be flexible because this is hard plastic it actually cracked the little retainer on the inside so this is a really bad mechanism and I can easily solve that problem by changing the hinge orientation to the side instead of the back or the front I should say so that's a, a part that uh, is not going to be included in the final design and as you can see the uh, rail itself actually cracked right off and that's just because this plastic well the tolerances were bad but this clear plastic is actually very very brittle so I would uh, recommend to anyone who is printing in clear, clear plastic to uh, avoid designs with excessive brittleness because pretty much every single part on here that could have broken including the hinges and the back locking mechanism here cracked and uh, two of the parts broke off so yeah you you don't want to use uh, clear plastic for fragile designs although um, it's really good for prototyping because it allows you to see inside the design you can actually see things that can cause problems that you wouldn't have otherwise seen in an opaque uh, material so yeah anyway uh, just one other part here to go over and that's the switch this is a three position switch so that you can turn the laser and LED off and then you can turn the LEDs or the laser on independently and uh, this is a, a universal three position switch so the tolerances for that were actually perfect and right on and I was really pleased with that so yeah I uh, learned a lot and uh, this is definitely a alpha version of the the design but I'm gonna refine it and 3D print another version in opaque nylon and just gonna keep working on this until I get a reliable platform and uh, and then I'm gonna make that available to anyone who is interested in extending or further developing the design so yeah thanks for watching